little though. Maybe a little bigger than I thought. Oh, I like it when they grow. So often they do the exact opposite. You know, like you think they're giant. Oh, it's gonna jump. <laughs> you think they're giant. And then, as they get up, you're like, hey, it's not so big. And this is a tip in itself, literally. I mean, if you're not gonna have a net, and when the water starts to get a little bumpy, always go to the lowest point in the boat, grab your fish, just because you're, you're bending over a lot less. Come here. You'd be better at it than I am right now. Oh. Man, that is a nice one. <laughs> I like it when they do that. I like it when they they grow on the way up. Ooh. You know, days like today, basically what they do on Erie in a weird way is they, they help you appreciate it a little bit because I tell you, this fishery is so good. All these, you know, great lakes, super smallmouth fisheries are so, so good. That, that you almost disrespect the fish. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful small job, but there's plenty of days you go out here and mm, you ain't even looking at that fish. Yawn. Get on down to the bottom. That's a cool thing too. You know, the big debate, everybody talks about fizzing fish. You know, if you catch them from deeper water, that fish was in 40 feet of water, but the thing is, the only time you need to fizz them is after you put them in a live well. So if you're just fun fishing like this, if you're not in a tournament, you're not going to keep the fish to hold or anything like that, let them go immediately. They don't need fizz or anything. They just power their way down. <laughs> and they stay down there and they continue to grow and get bigger and bigger. Let's get more. More! <laughs> 